Airbus Helicopters now offers its in-house developed three-display Helionics avionics system in the H-135 twin-engine helicopter. This is the latest implementation of a system already available on the larger H-145 and H-175 twins. We found out some years ago that our customers are looking for a very easy, intuitive cockpit, which is increasing the safety of the operation and, of course, reducing the workload of the pilot. Because it's a challenging environment with a lot of features for them, and they want to have an easy and simple to use cockpit. So we see here in the H135 that we present for the first time, we have, you see, a class cockpit with one, two, three multifunction displays. And we have only one backup. You see also here a class cockpit backup. In case we have a failure of all the screen, you can still fly and uh, bring the helicopter safely home with this instrument here. Uh, this is our Airbus technology. We interface it with the Garmin GTN 750. Uh, but the new innovation is in this system. So first we see that on the right hand side, the pilot has the so-called FND, flight navigation display in front of him. And uh, here he has on the upper part, he has all flight information, in the central part, navigation information, and in the lower part, he has all the alarm and caution lights. Uh, what is innovative here is that on this upper part, the pilot has not only his normal flight attitude, of course, and the speed and uh, the VNE, the VNK is calculated. He has here a very innovative first limit indication. So as soon as he moves his power, his uh, pitch from the helicopter, the scale will move up. And in case he will reach any kind of limit, takeoff power, max continuous power, transient power, this will appear in this scale. And the pilot knows immediately how much margin he has to the first limit. Uh, on former versions, on competition aircraft, this information is somewhere else, but is not here in one line for the pilot. So we call it one line scan, one line scan capability. Uh, what is very intuitive is also and innovative that we have a so-called blue line. In addition, uh, when you fly the aircraft, you see permanently your single engine OEI performance. And you have a blue line which appears here. And if the blue line is above your yellow line, you know immediately you have enough power to maintain the present flight condition in a single engine mode. So even if an engine fails, the pilot could continue his operation. So all this is in one line, and this is really uh, very innovative what we have here. Uh, we see that we have also navigation information, so the pilot can handle all his uh, navigation information, his flight plan, his waypoints. If he needs more detail, he can now go to the center screen, push the NAFD, navigation display button, and we will see here all the different information again linked to his flight plan. We have a circle mode, uh, we have you know, also the chance here to change the different range of the navigation arcs. So he see all this information here uh, in case he wants to go into more details. The same is also for this alarming panel. Normally it's uh, empty, there's no information. In case he has a failure here, there are several innovative informations here. The first one is in case you have a really important red alarm, it's not only a light and a light and a gong, but also the pilot here will enjoy a kind of a voice alarm. So the system will tell him engine one failure, engine one failure. So he hears immediately what is the problem and he doesn't need to analyze. If he needs to analyze more, he can go to his vehicle management system page and he will see all information about uh, temperature or N1 talk. Uh, he see all the vehicle information more in detail. And of course, he could go also here to a status situation, to a report situation and see what is the problem of my failure. Uh, very innovative thing also here, we see a so-called trend monitoring. It does mean um, while you have a normal temperature, a normal kind of N1 here, once this is getting a bit abnormal, the trend is going negative, this is already displayed here. Before you reach any limit, before you get to any critical failure, you get already an information here, trend. And then the pilot again can look here and can study and see what is the issue. So again, a safety feature that will reduce the, the failure, because before the failure occurs, the pilot can react already and can see what happens. So while the pilot enjoys always this uh, display here, we see uh, that demonstrated uh, the co-pilot or the crew member 
can have the same display here. He can also go to the navigation page, to the vehicle page. He could display also a digital map system that we have no connection here on the ground. He can also display a different kind of camera system. So here we have a simple camera at our cross tube, which monitors the rear of the helicopter. In case you do landing in confined area, you see what's going on behind you. And we have also another camera that is uh, not activated yet here, which is moving from the, uh, from the fenestra to the nose of the helicopter. So for example, the peeping, roping, getting out of the helicopter, you can capture with this camera from the rear. Okay, so on the left side, basically we have the same, so we can also scroll here through the different information. Of course, uh, we have many kind of sub pages where you can uh, adjust also to different kind of parameters in the system. So you have seen there are a lot of features built in here for the safety, so reduce workload of the pilot. For example, we have also here on this display the capability to make uh, a mission computation. So the computer will calculate under which conditions today you can hover in which altitude, with, what, with which weight. So this is also displayed here and this is very, very new. Uh, we have also a so-called training mode. So here in case, because you have a twin engine helicopter, you need to train the single engine operation. What you can do is you just push in flight this training button and you will have the effect that everything works like in a real engine failure with all warnings and all alarms and the engine behavior. But actually the engines are running normal behind, no change to the engine, but everything is simulated that you have a kind of engine failure. It does mean the crew also can train the behavior, the emergency procedures. And the last uh, nice feature I want to mention is also a so-called recovery button. Uh, this helicopter is often used in uh, emergency medical services, in police missions, by day, by night time. And imagine you have a criminal pursuit and the helicopter is in a critical flight condition. By night time, you start to lose a bit your orientation and the pilot just simply need to double click on this button here on the stick and immediately the helicopter uh, will be removed from this critical position into a, a level, straight level, no turn, no climb, constant speed situation. So we call it recovery button and this is a very simple click and the whole system will bring the helicopter back into a safe operation. So overall I think we have achieved what was the target uh, to have a very uh, simple kind of design here to give the pilot the minimum but crucial information. So all this reducing his workload that he can concentrate on his mission, he can, can look outside and increasing the safety. Now that the Helionic system has been implemented on the twin engine models, the company plans to implement it on their single engine models as well. 